welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of a first for me. You guys know I do a lot of cooking and meal prep style videos, but today I'm actually going to be doing a what's for dinner style video. So basically, I'm gonna take you through our whole week this week and show you what I make every single evening for dinner. I do a lot of freezer prep for lunch and breakfast and snacks and things like that, but pretty much every evening, unless Corey will order dinner sometimes, which is super nice on busy days whenever I don't have enough time to make dinner, he often offers to order dinner for us. But for the most part, I make dinner almost every evening. And so I'm gonna take you through our week and show you kind of what I'm making. I don't do a ton of recipes. There's a lot of things that I've just made for a long time that are our go-to favorite meals, which is kind of what this week is gonna consist of. So I hope that this gives you some meal inspiration. I will leave any recipes below if I end up using any, but like I said, most of them I do just kind of know from heart or remember. And if there's anything else that is highly asked for, I'll link below as well so let's get this kicked off with a Monday night dinner all right the first meal this week is one that's super simple it's also one that I don't do very often but Corey requested it this week he just said he's totally the mood to eat this so I'm gonna do an Alfredo I already diced up some chicken breast there's three chicken breasts in here I'm just gonna fry them up in the frying pan probably with some olive oil Maybe put a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, just until the chicken is grilled up and done. And then I'll be adding in some of this creamy Alfredo sauce. And then I don't know, I may add a little bit of milk to it, just depending on how the consistency of it is going. Um, and maybe a little bit of sour cream, we will see. And then these are the gluten-free noodles I like to use whenever I do this. They're made from brown rice and quinoa. They're also organic and they're from Aldi. All of this stuff is from Aldi actually. And so I just cook this up separately and then we use this kind of as the sauce with the meat and the sauce to put on top of the noodles. I also do a baked version of this but tonight I'm doing all stove top. And then I'm going to be making up some broccoli and adding butter to this. Since I eat keto most of the time, I probably will not be eating the pasta just because it's a little bit higher carb and I eat a lot of lower carbs. So instead of the pasta, I will just put these things on top of the cooked broccoli. And that's it, super simple, so let's get cooking. Okay, I know I'm kicking this week off with literally the simplest meal ever, but it really is. And um, it's just doing it on the stove top like this. I kind of like to do everything separate. So you can layer it up, you can put some pasta and then put some broccoli on your plate, then put the protein on top, the chicken, and then drizzle it up with the Alfredo sauce. And then I might cut up a watermelon as well if they're not totally full, but this is our dinner tonight. All right, so we are on night two and um, I'm gonna be doing up some lemon honey salmon. I actually found a Pinterest recipe for this uh, about a week or two ago and we did it then. And it was super simple. I'm not really gonna follow a recipe. I'm just going to fry the salmon up with some butter and olive oil in the pan, salt, pepper, add some lemon juice and a drizzle of honey and it will be pretty much the same thing that uh, the recipe called for. But I love getting these packs of salmon. They're relatively inexpensive from Aldi and they come in these like individually vacuum packed little fillets and then I just throw them in some warm water and let them thaw out it only takes a few minutes and then they're ready for the frying pan so I'm probably gonna do up this whole pack since it will be for our whole family for dinner and um, this is also a really great lunch option I think I've shared it before on my channel that if you want something healthy for lunch that 
thaws out really fast and you can fry it up really fast. And then I'm also gonna be doing some of my um, stuffed mushrooms. I do them different every time, so I'll show you what all I put in them tonight. And then I'm going to be doing some green beans. We love these ones that are the extra fine, really skinny ones. They're nice and tender and super delicious. So I'm gonna get everything rolling and then mix up my filling for inside of the mushrooms. So we are on the third day of doing what's for dinner and tonight I'm gonna to be making tacos We make tacos about once a week. I know I'm sorry. I look a little crazy I just got out of the shower, but anyway, so we make tacos about once a week and Generally when I make tacos, it's filling enough that I don't really make anything else and 
I don't know how everybody else makes tacos, but this is how we make ours. If you have any tips or tricks on how you guys make tacos, I would love to hear it. But it's just something that our whole family really enjoys. And basically, I start out by frying up a pound or two of meat and putting spices in it. And then I like to put all of the toppings like on a tray, which I'll show you in just a minute. Alright guys, so we are on another dinner. This is kind of interesting, picking up the camera and filming a little bit each day. But I hope it's giving you a lot of inspiration for meal ideas. So, tonight we are going to be making pork chops and we've done a lot of trial and error whenever it comes to pork chops. And they can come out really dry or just be kind of leathery if you don't make them right. So I'll show you how we make them and the way that we really enjoy them. And then I'm also going to be doing a sheet pan with some veggies. I'm gonna be doing some onion and sweet potato on them, popping those in the oven. We love those roasted up. And I think that'll probably be everything. Today was my youngest daughter's birthday, so we did cake and we did some like special food we ordered in and stuff for lunch. So we're not all that hungry, but I'm still gonna obviously make dinner. So this is just a simple dinner idea. How we make our pork chops is in our pressure cooker. This is also called an Instapot. There's other brands for it and whatnot. I will try to remember to link this one specifically below. It's from Amazon. We really like it and it's, I believe, less expensive than the Instapot the last time I checked. So basically, I'm gonna put this on the saute setting. Just turn it on and kind of what it does is create like a frying pan inside of there. 
So I'll just be putting a little bit of olive oil in there and then searing each of the pork chops in the bottom of the pan. And then I'll put them on this plate. Also, as I'm doing that, I'll be putting some salt and paprika on each side whenever I'm flipping them over. The sun is slowly going down, so if you see the lighting changing up, it's because um, I have the light on over the other counter, and then this doesn't, and it's just all over the place. Okay, a few little tips about doing this. So you wanna cut up your sweet potatoes around the same size so that they roast around the same time. And then I like to put them in a Ziploc bag that I can just throw away, just because it's so oily, and it's just easier to make sure everything is coated once you dump the olive oil in, to be able to just kind of smush it around. So I do that, dump some olive oil in it, close the bag up, smush it around. Then I dump it on the pan. I've got some parchment paper here. I put some salt, even a little garlic uh, powder if I can. And then I slice up the onion and lay it over top of it. Go in the oven at 400 until they're done. And the reason I say until they're done is it depends on what size your cubes are. I just take a fork and kind of test them um, after a while just to see where they're at. what they look like when they're seared. I've got a couple more here yet that I'm doing. And then I'll be putting these back into the pressure cooker. And I believe that they go in on high for about 20, depending on how many you have in there, 20 to 30 minutes. And I also like to put some barbecue sauce and a little bit of water. And then they'll be completely cooked through. They won't be dry. They'll be really great and delicious. The other thing I wanted to mention is this was a box of just mixed cut pork chops. So they were different sizes. Um, this is what I prefer to get from Aldi. They have a little bit of fat left on them and they make it a little more tender.
It's Friday and I am going to whip up a really quick dinner. I've done something like this before, but it's been a while. I actually found this idea on Pinterest, so I will be sure to link this one below. But it's basically similar to a jambalaya, but it's without rice. Instead of rice, we're using cauliflower rice, which would make this a little more keto friendly. And you have some sausage, some peppers, onion, and then I picked up this Cajun seasoning. Um, it's a little different than the one that she used in the recipe but I'm going to cook all of this up so the first thing I'm gonna do is fry up my onions and peppers in the frying pan with some olive oil just to kind of get them seasoned and cooked through and then I'm going to slice up the sausage put that in and then I'm gonna add in this and um, the spice as well so it's just gonna be a one pan meal really really simple and something that I think we'll all enjoy Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope that this gave you some inspiration. I decided to just take the five days of the week um, during the week and show you guys what we eat kind of on a normal basis. These are very like regular style meals that we have and if you like videos like this, I personally love getting meal inspiration like this, but if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments below because I think I'd like to start making some more similar to this and just show you guys what we cook every evening also if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video